Hi guys, I emailed the student just a few days ago uh, a paper about apoptosis. I made apoptosis as a diagram because I feel some topics, in patho especially in pathology, it's difficult to understand it without diagram. So this is a copy of the email. So the apoptosis, there is a mechanism of apoptosis is into two types of mechanism. There is extrinsic pathway for apoptosis, extrinsic pathway for apoptosis, and intrinsic intrinsic pathway. What is the ex extrinsic pathway usually done by tumor necrosis factor and the receptor for tumor necrosis factor lead to activation of a special kind of enzyme. While the intrinsic factor, which intrinsic, sorry, intrinsic pathway, which is the main topic, usually run by mitochondria. When the mitochondria Mitochondria, mitochondria release cytochrome C. Cytochrome C is the key feature, one of the key feature for apoptosis. If cytochrome C go to the cytosol, this is the dangerous. So this will lead to the activation of an enzyme, which I'm now just going, going to talk about this. The enzyme that activated in case of for apoptosis is caspases. So the main the main enzyme responsible for apoptosis for apoptosis to the cell is caspases. There are two kinds of caspases, endonuclease, endo, in nuclease, and from the name of the enzyme, this will go to the nucleus, and this enzyme will hit the nucleus, okay? Nucleus, okay, this is first. Another enzyme is a protease. This enzyme will go to the cytoskeletal system, cytoskeletal system of the cell, and will hit the cytoskeletal system of the cells. Again, in the nucleus, hit the nucleus, lead to the formation of pycnosis, okay? And the protease hit the whole cytoskeletal system of the cell. As a result of this, if you will not have nucleus now and no cytoskeletal system, this will end to apoptosis. That means it end to death. Do you see, uh, this is the end and this is the death. Do you see any inflammation? There is no inflammation here. That's why the definition of apoptosis is death without inflammation. Is death without inflammation. If the cell is dead, with inflammation, that's mean necrosis. If the cell is death without inflammation, that's mean apoptosis. Again, the feature for apoptosis is cytochrome C. Cytochrome C has to release into the cytosol, and once the cytochrome C release into the cytosol, will activate the key feature, a, a second key enzyme, which is caspases. The first product for the first factor for apoptosis is cytochrome C. The second one is caspases. One, the caspases will lead to the destroyed of the nucleus and the cytoskeletal system. So death of the cell is the final end with no inflammation. Okay, so there is some regulation for apoptosis. So again, this is the pathway which is mitochondria and mitochondria will release, as we said in the first video, release cytochrome C and once cytochrome C will be released, lead to, act will, to the cytosol, now lead to activation of caspases. Okay, caspases. There is, there is, there is a regulation for this pathway. If this pathway is inhibited by PCL2 protein, and PCL2 protein is the product of PCL2 gene. Okay, PCL2 gene on chromosome 18. When this PCL2 gene activated, lead to activate PCL2 protein inhibition of apoptosis. No cytochrome C, not not go to the cytosol, no caspases. This is actually dangerous because if you will not have this apoptotic pathway, now the cell will grow again and again, and the cell will proliferate more and more proliferation. So the cell will grow and proliferate more. That means the cell are more susceptible cells now are more susceptible to mutation lead to the cancer. The famous example of this of this regulation is follicular lymphoma. Okay, follicular lymphoma, you have, there is a problem with the gene. Activation of P lymphoma, activation of PCL2 gene, PCL2 protein inhibition of apoptosis. Mitochondrial C will not release cytochrome C, and instead you will see this pathway in the, and the, and the yellow and on, on the left side of the apoptosis, which is the yellow pathway, the cell will grow and grow and proliferate more, more susceptible to mutations and lead to the formation of follicular lymphoma. Okay, this is the first thing. The second issue, the second issue, if you, if you need, now if you need apoptosis, what you will do? As if, 
if there is no apoptosis, PCL2 protein will play a role. So if you need apoptosis, you need to inhibit inhibition of inhibition of PCL2 protein or PCL2 gene, right? PC, once the PCL2 gene is inhibition, this pathway will go, will go, will go. Okay. So how I inhibit PCL2 protein by Pax gene? How Pax gene activated? Pax gene usually activated by T. P53, which is tumor suppressor gene. How the tumor, what is the signal? Response is the signal for initiation or activation of tumor suppressor 53 is when you will have DNA damage. Okay. When DNA damage, when DNA damage or large DNA damage in the cell, when a large cells damage for a reason of another dude, so the DNA will be damaged in the cells, so the cells will be malformed as a result of malformation of the cells. I don't need, uh, I don't need malformed cells, so there is signal TB53 activated, back gene inhibition PCL2, and the end result will be caspases. Why caspases? Because caspases to death, caspases lead to death, so now you will get rid of all of these DNA because the only way to get rid of the damaged cells is by dying of the cells itself. How you make these cells die? It's a kind of a suicidal to the cells itself by the, by the specific signal which is TP53. TP53 inhibition of PCL2 gene while on the other side of the picture PCL2 gene on chromosome 18 lead to inhibition of apoptosis and carcinoma. So I can tell this program, this diagram on the left side is, is anti-apoptosis, apoptosis feature or apoptosis mechanism, while the diagram on the right side is apoptosis, apoptosis apoptosis illustrations. Apoptosis illustrations run by TB53 and anti-apoptosis mechanism run, run by PCL2 gene on chromosome 18.